Since 1975, the Hatfield School of Government's Executive Master of Public Administration has been empowering top working practitioners of governance in the Pacific Northwest, all tailored around participants' demanding schedules. Only the second such program accredited in the United States, it received this honor a full two years faster than peer programs. This reflects national confidence in the program's unique accelerated learning model, which provides public service leaders with very practical knowledge and skills to meet the ever-changing challenges of leading and managing democratic institutions. Currently, the public expectation is very high for public services. The uh, analysis and looking at what's delivered is very public, very, you know, you got the press looking, TV, citizens, and that's okay, but I think it's much more intense than when I started back in the middle 90s. And every bit of skill we can develop to make our jobs be performed better is really important. I expected to do a lot of the, the studying. I was ready to take on the challenge of going and continuing my education and all the work that comes with that. But I had no idea that I was going to learn so much from the people in the program itself. If this was a traditional MPA program, I never would have done it. I could not have come down to school on a Tuesday and a Thursday night. The fact that they have designed the program to be so intense, but to be concrete ch uh, chunks of time that you can fit into your calendar makes all the difference in the world. It wasn't about getting a degree to get a new opportunity. It was about thinking about public service in a different way. It gathers what it is we've learned from working in training programs and professional development programs, our regular master's program, and it uh, folds into those a learning model that's based on uh, working adults. Uh, it could come down to an insight that someone has, an experience that someone has, uh, something that you never thought about uh, that someone else brings into the learning experience. So I guess I would say that there are many surprises, but they take place at sort of a, an everyday level. The program's cohort emphasis draws from the extensive knowledge of each class's participants, facilitating teaching and learning from one another as part of its accelerated learning module bringing people in from, I think the class size is 24 or 25, from all different parts of government, parts of nonprofits perhaps. Different challenges expose people by listening and talking. I never thought about what public works does over here. I mean, the, the guy who supervises the garbage and recycling has to face what? You know, the mayor's office gets how many phone calls from really unhappy people? And just sharing how people approach their job has got to be terrific. You are learning from not only your professors who are top notch, but 20 to 25 colleagues throughout the region that you never would have met otherwise. And it's safe harbor to talk with people who share your passion for public service, who share your ethic, and who want to make government work better. Growth and comfort don't coexist. So if they're in these small groups together and they have differences that sometimes are fairly polarized or politically different or value-based different and they have to listen to each other and work together, that's transformational. Their uh, experiences, their insight, their wisdom helps me and improves my learning and it improves the takeaway from every class and I think it'll actually improve the takeaway from the program as a whole. Emphasizing the cultivation of the knowledge and skills of participants to truly lead public organizations in complex and interdependent environments, the program empowers participants to lead in a power-shared world. For two years, while you are doing all of the core components you would do in a regular MPA program, you're doing that infused with leadership development. What I found with the EMPA program for me is that focus on leadership development really made me think about the behaviors that I could adopt that would make me more successful. They love their subject matter and we help them be better at managing it, administering it, and leading others in it. A leadership perspective is something that you carry with you into every experience and it's actually in many respects a way of looking at problems and a way of thinking about solutions. It's also, as I, I, I mentioned with respect to the cohort, I think it's a way of looking at relationships, uh, the professional relationships you form. So leading from where I sit, that can mean a lot of things, um, but for me it's always to um, 
you know, make sure to speak up during those opportune moments when you know that um, there's going to be a, an opportunity to really make a difference. Leading in a power shared world requires individuals who have exquisite contextual sensitivity and who know how to use diversity to build capacity and trust in public organizations. Using field-based coursework in Washington, D.C. and in foreign countries both broadens and deepens this exact cultural competency of program participants. What we do is we literally start by talking with people in the Office of Management and Budget about the President's prospective budget. We talk to interest groups, we talk to trade associations and others who have inputs into the policy process, and then we spend a day on Capitol Hill talking not only with legislators themselves, but also with their staff, committee staff, and other folks that make sure that uh, the work gets done in the legislative session setting. I thought that I knew about D.C. and kind of what it meant to, to be a part of the machine of going, what's going on in D.C., and I realized I didn't have a clue. After spending one week in um, D.C. with Dr. Shin, who has all of these amazing connections, and the thing that he does so well is he connected the cohort. He gave us the opportunity to talk to so many people who are actors at different levels of the process of decision making in D.C. that we saw how things worked in an entirely different way. But I think that the experience in Seoul in itself is intellectually demanding. It's a week of, uh, of policy seminars, meeting with people in uh, the Seoul Metropolitan Government, visiting the, uh, the, uh, the operational centers of, of Seoul Government. But then it's made even more, uh, it's made richer by virtue of the opportunity to think about it, to write about it, and to uh, experience that with a cohort of similarly committed uh, public administrative leaders. Going to Vietnam was the balance, right? It was the career part, it was for school, but personally going into a culture and environment that was completely foreign and having those moments where you're stuck in a situation and you need to solve a problem and you, there's everybody around you that doesn't speak the same language and, and you're being put into uncomfortable situations but you learn how to navigate that and how to really rely on individuals within our cohort and leadership that were with us to be able to get through that experience. And it was a tremendous experience, something I'll never forget. Both the program's accelerated learning model as well as its focus on marrying the theory of leadership with its actual execution provide students with the confidence, knowledge, and skills to engage in real-world leadership opportunities they never thought possible. I've watched an employee just graduate from the program. She had a lot of potential and it, she took it from a starting point of leadership and technique to a much higher and it's been a lot of fun, almost felt like a dad watching this change happen. We've got some really important things to get done in the city. We're, we're going to rehab our existing city hall building after government services move out. Watching her organize people on the admin side and the police side and the public side, bringing them together, working with people has been tremendous. And I know that would not have happened three years ago for this person. If you're on the job seven years, you're not going to be usually as effective as 20. But maybe by taking this course and going through the process, you can pick up eight years of experience and two years of sweat, blood, and a lot of late hours. There's this constant turn of of us learning from them and they learning from us, of incorporating scholarship and academic material into real life application. I'm seven months post-graduation and I'm being promoted in our organization. I'll have four times the staff that I'll be working with than I had before. I'll be a direct report to our chief administrative officer. And the reason that I think I'm being promoted is because of the behaviors, the leadership development, the thinking that I learned in this program. It made the difference. I think that when you graduate from any higher degree program, that's your goal, right? Is looking for those opportunities to grow in your career. Um, so now I'm working for Intel. I'm working on a very innovative project related to healthcare reform. I have already, in the five weeks I've been in this job, had many opportunities to lead from where I sit and really start to collaborate and bring the right people to the table. And it wouldn't have happened. I wouldn't have even gotten an interview, I'm sure, um, if I didn't have this great learning experience in this program to be able to put on my resume and say, hey, 
I did this. While I was working full time, while I was in a leadership role, I still completed this, you know, and that says a lot, a lot about an individual's drive, a lot about their responsibility and discipline. Um, so I'm very appreciative that I decided to take the jump because it's paid off very well. For real world professionals who are looking to prepare for new leadership opportunities, seeking to engage with an active growing network of joint learners with a shared passion for improving the common good and having a desire to lead a public service legacy, the next chapter of your journey begins with the Hatfield School of Government's Executive Master of Public Administration.